To not die. Im Dajan is a high school student who gets bullied at school every day. He came across an interview on TV just when he was on the verge of giving up on life. It was with a murderer who killed the classmates that bullied him. Dajan becomes inspired by what he saw and decides to take revenge as well. His revenge was successful. However, his life steered into an undesired direction. Im Dajan, leaving school, ends up joining a strange runaway fam. The young runaway, Im Dajan, no longer suffers from the bullies at his school. Instead, he now must survive against even more vicious thugs on the street. Zombie fight. As life gets harder, Ian pushes his emotions away and resists. His father's violence and debts increase. The misfortunes continued, and his body became increasingly numb, he accidentally walks in on an illegal fight and receives an offer. If you get in the game, I will give you all the money on this floor. His survival period begins, where he must survive in an illegal fighting arena. Supernova. The story is about a high schooler who lives in a modern world where the strong and rich are the ones who decides everything, and the poor and weak gets bullied, and our MC is neither strong nor weak he is just average, and that's how he lives until his friend who is poor and weak gets sick of getting bullied and killed himself, and then our MC meets a black cat that can talk, and the cat is some powerful past hero or something, and so the cat helps him to get stronger which doesn't sound fun to read at first, but it gets really interesting as the story goes on. The only problem is that the author focuses more on side characters than the main character, and the progress of the manhwa at start feels a bit slow, but it's still a solid read if you are into school fighting manhwas. I am a middle schooler becoming the demon lord. 15-year-old demon prince, Myung Seong Joon. To become the demon lord, he has to attend a middle school in the human realm and start the maturity ritual. From the title it looks like this is a manhwa, where the MC sweeps the floor with the bodies of bullies, but in actual it's a comedic manhwa, and there is not a lot of action. Boss in School, The Beginning. From instincts of fighting, earned by sweat and blood, to becoming the boss among the toughs. Seth Kang's high school story is being revealed, which hasn't been revealed in his main story. This is the story of Seth Kang after his father died, and how he became the chairman. Nanahana Boys. Two young men with disabilities, Anishi Yuu and Ishida Kenji. Their disabilities made their high school lives different from other students. The youthful story of the two who build a special friendship. The protagonist, Anishi Yuu, is blind through his left eye. Whereas Ishida Kenji is deaf. Anishi used to be a delinquent, but after an accident, he decided to turn his life around and be a good kid. Daddy Goes to School. The story of Kim Jahan starts now. A dad who only has eyes for his daughter faces a sudden death. Now he is a ghost and his mission is now to protect his daughter Dahyun from the 12 bullies by using his powerful character from webtoon drawing when he was once alive. As a dad, he'll never let his daughter get bullied. If they mess with his daughter he won't let those bullies alone. Its story is so awesome. It's again those bullies in school, but girl's father is trying his best to save his daughter from these delinquents. Watchdog. There's only one way to stop the hyenas from going for the big piece of meat. The main character have to become the king to protect his owner. The main character is hired as a watchdog for a girl and now he has to face bullies and delinquents to protect her from the dangers lurking in this new school. It has solid action and baddest main character. Two man. The main character is a detective who is framed and killed by mafia. The vengeful soul of the murdered detective makes a deal with a bullied student who was about to commit suicide. Now the main character uses the body of the bullied kid to get rid of the bullies and take revenge on those criminals who ruined his life. 
This manhwa is super lit, it's full of action and the story is also pretty decent. Shotgun Boy While running for his life in the woods, bullying victim Juan stumbles upon a shotgun and just enough shells for his classmates. It's a recipe for disaster. But fate takes an unexpected turn when he returns to find his classmates under attack by brain-eating creatures. Now, the only thing that stands in the way of their ravenous feast is a boy with a shotgun. This is actually a prequel to another very awesome webtoon Sweet Home. Give it a try it's super lit.